Alrighty, let's take a look at dog. Oh, nice. Alright, 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 right, right. I remember. So. It's better through here. But what I would do is a couple things. I think, and this is just because I'm picky, this seems very straight and um, defaulty. I'll probably twist, tilt the head a bit at the beginning so you get into this, right? So you start off with a slight offset so that it, this, this feels like um, some, of the, you know, some of your rotational channels are at zero. In terms of the Y and the sideways t uh, twist. So just a bit more complexity there. What I would do is, the slowdown to me is here. Right now you're jumping, and by now you're already slowing down. But the thing is, he jumps, or she, runs and jumps, that's all the full power. And the slowdown comes here. So now, he, now the dog is suddenly only able to hold on to this, gravity kicks in, and this is where the slowdown starts. So this this jump is going to be slower. See, so yeah, and I, I feel a slowdown through here already. So I would just vary the timing a bit. You can make that a bit more explosive, but then this is the slowdown. Once he's here or she, all of that slows down, all that slows down a bit more. And then once you're here, bam, that's your push off. And right now it feels like a very tired, uh, which, you know, you might argue, well, I just want the dog to turn and land and not push off. But I think contrast wise, it would be nice to go fast, fast, slow, fast. Just that is your burst of energy. Boom, boom, pow. You know what I mean? Run, run, slow, pow, faster. So where this might be a bit more stretched out, I mean, the head might be in here stretched out and he has that you know that type of silhouette so that this landing happens i don't know i'm guessing where that would be but you know it might be somewhere here and then once you're there let me just go back here that's all cute once you're here careful you got a couple moments especially towards the end where um this area this and the head all feel like one unit there's no breakup especially through here when you go up this whole thing goes down and then up. There's no drag overlap and you haven't broken up any of these chest, neck and head areas. Same thing here. It just goes down. This goes down, especially with this pose. This whole thing goes down as one triangle. It feels very, very uh, blocky. And then same thing here. Like It feels like the orientation is always the same. Even though here the wire orientation changes to there, this feels the same and you're back in that same trap where this goes down as one big unit. Even though the legs stretch a bit, it suddenly feels very, very stiff. And that would be that would be my comment. Once you once you get to here, so burst, full stretch, compression land around here-ish instead of here, or whatever it is, right? And then really work into head, neck, and chest area, breaking them up, twisting the head around, just giving you a bit more complexity. So once you're here, I feel like there's a certain bend to the dog this this feeling of it feels like bent and bent it feels like a you know compressed in and never getting back to its stretchiness that's my that's my kind of impression of on that ending part this feels a bit um it's like he he ran and hit a wall and got all squashed and now he's unable to stretch out again like that's how it feels to the end at the beginning. I think that feels, that's okay. Yeah, it's just a slowdown. And I'm not talking a lot of slowdown, but just a visible fast, 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 jump fast, slow. Like once once the dog hits the, the tree and stuff, slow, and then phew, fast again through here. You know, and this will be a good opportunity for a really nice twisting. You can even turn the head a bit more. Really turn, and this is already turned in wide. It's already looking at, that's this goal to go over there. So here, twisted in wide, the head is really looking over here. And really breaking up the sections. I think that's the main thing that I see uh, in terms of addressing right away to get rid of that um, that blocky feel. 
the all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you